And the family of Kareem Jones saw this body cam footage for the first time last night. They talked to NBC4 reporter Courtney Yoon about it today, and she now has more on their reaction. Ted, Kareem Jones's family says, although agonizing to see, they wanted to watch that police body worn camera footage that was taken right behind Jones's home here in order to understand exactly what happened. They told us today that after watching that video, they have more questions than answers. Words can't describe how we feel of watching my brother getting killed. Marika Phipps is Kareem Jones's older sister. I don't know how afraid he was in that moment, and it just. That's what I'm going to remember about the loss of my brother, unfortunately. She says before all this happened, Jones was trying to help a woman find some kids who were throwing rocks at her car. How did that turn from a good deed turn into a man losing his life? When officers are in control, you know, my brother had his hands up. He wasn't posing a threat to anyone if he did have a gun. Why didn't someone tase him in that moment? Phipps says there is no audio from the body camera footage leading up to when her brother was shot. Yes, they handed over the footage, but what good is it if I can't understand what it is that was being told to my brother, the commands that they were giving him? His mother, Marcy Bailey, says police protocols need to change so no mother has to go through this again. He was a joy to have as a son. He brought lots of joy to me, to his family. He was the life of the family. I want justice. I want reform. This was a senseless death. Phipps did address her brother's past criminal history. She said that if he, he she said that he was on probation and that if he did have a gun, he shouldn't have had one. However, she did say that he had never been charged with any violent crimes or assaults. She also said he was a father of four children. Live in Franklinton, Courtney Yoon, NBC4. Courtney, thank you. Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther releasing this statement today regarding this video. Any loss of life is tragic. We feel for the friends and family left behind and for the officers who will be forever impacted. Body-worn cameras, however, can help provide early answers to difficult questions and aid the thorough investigation that follows. And you, of course, can stay with NBC4 for continuing coverage of this incident. We'll bring you the details of this investigation on the air here and online at NBC4i.com.